Hello everyone, today I want to talk about cigarette life cycle assessment. Before that, I want to tell you about the history of cigarette. Firstly, cigarette appear to have had antecedents in Mexico and Central America around the 9th century. The cigarettes and the cigar were the most common method of smoking in the Caribbean, Mexico, and South America. The first patented cigarette making machine was invented by Juan Nepomuceno Adorno of Mexico in 1847. Next is top 4 cigarettes consuming country. Firstly is China which is a record 1163 billion. Second country is Japan which is record 375 billion. The third country is USA which is a record 331 billion. And the last country is Indonesia which is a record 250 billion. There are four different types of cigarette. Firstly is metal cigarette, next is cigar and little cigars, third is cloth cigarette and also known as cratex, and the last one is vintage, which is flavor cigarette. So now let's move to cigarette life cycle assessment. Life cycle assessment of cigarettes begin with raw materials, processing, manufacturing distribution, cigarette use, and final disposal. Life cycle assessment of cigarettes begin with the first stage which is raw material. Firstly, tobacco. Tobacco is harvested either leaf by leaf. Curing process play a major role in defining the leaf, final quality and characters. Next stage is processing. Leaf are sought by stock position and quality, packed in bales, and then it separate of leaf from stain and remove all scents and non-tobacco materials. When the tobacco is dried, it packed in a case and shipped to manufacturing center. The third stage, which is manufacturing. The material that's needed in manufacturing is filtration materials, plug wrapper paper, Tipping paper, brand logo in, and wrapping paper. In the process, to create one long cigarette, and then machine slice the supper size root into shorter piece, and it inserting filter at both ends. Next stage of cigarette life cycle assessment is distributions. The cigarette was distribute from the factory to tobacco shops and vending machines 85.6% bought cigarettes from tobacco shops 7.5% from vending machines and 6.9% from other channel of distributions the next stage is cigarette use the total number of cigarette sticks consumed in a year is 5.8 trillion sticks this based on the data reported for the year 2014. And the final stage is final disposal of cigarette. Cigarette was disposal with leachage and emission monitoring and collections. Now we look into life cycle impact assessment of cigarette. I will tell you about the facts and danger of cigarette. Firstly, cigarette is contribute to the economy impact. Tobacco production can contribute to the economy. Tax of the cigarette become country's income and it can increase employment opportunities in the industry. The second impact is on the social impact. It preventable cause of premature death and it increase of death rate and it also increase the second-hand smokers. The last impact is on the environment. It can vet fire, it can cause water pollution, it can cause climate change, and freshwater eurotopification, and finally is deforestation. Now, 
we move to life cycle assessment result per ton of produce and consume tobacco. Actually, every single stage in life cycle assessment of cigarette have contribute to environmental impact. Firstly, in the first stage, which is raw material. In this stage, farming enough tobacco to produce a ton of dry tobacco leaf result in 3.5 carbon dioxide of emissions. It also contribute to terrestrial acidification. The next stage is processing. In this stage, it contribute to climate change and also to human toxicity potential. The next stage is manufacturing. Manufacturing activity contribute 13 kg sulfur dioxide in terrestrial acidification. It also impact to human toxicity. The greatest impact on freshwater and marine ecosystem ecotoxicity level across the supply chain. The next stage which is distribution. In this stage, cigarette distribution activity contribute 65 kg of carbon dioxide emissions per ton of tobacco. It also causes human toxicity and fossil depletion. For the final stage which is disposal, in this stage, cigarette use and disposal drive 1,545 kg of carbon dioxide emission per ton of tobacco. Now, we talk about how to reduce the environmental impact. The first stage, which is raw materials, we must use biodegradable raw materials and we must use environment friendly materials. For the second stage, which is manufacturing, we must use renewable energy for production, such as solar system. Next is reduce the water consumption, use biodegradable packaging and lastly use recyclable packaging. For the third stage which is distributions, we must reduce the trip for distributions, use the larger lorry and next use the hybrid transport and lastly is sustain waste treatment practice. For the last stage which is land of life, we must reuse and recycle the cigarette bulb. Next is recycle the cigarette packaging and lastly is shipping packaging recycling. This is list of reference that I use for the life cycle assessment of cigarette. Last but not least, I would like to give special credit to UPM, University Putra Malaysia, Faculty of Forestry and Environment UPM, Bachelor Environmental Management and Dr. Amir Hamza bin Shara'i as an advisor for this subject. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe the YouTube channel of Life Cycle Thinking and Environmental Management, Facebook Environmental Management and Life Cycle Thinking, and the last one is Twitter, LCT and Environmental Management.